Hey guys, Chris here. I just wanted to go through real quick and show you how to do a professional dealer shuffle. Um, one of the things that I learned back when I was dealing poker games a while back, and a couple reasons why we do this the way that we do it. Uh, when a dealer is dealing cards, a lot of times you see it at you know regular poker games and stuff. People will shuffle like this. They'll, you know, they, first of all they're holding the cards up like this. So people are seeing the bottom card, then they do this. The person sees the next card when they cut, then they shuffle this way. Now they do the bridge and everything else. So now somebody who's sitting off to my left, you know, knows that the ace of diamonds is on the bottom of this pile, and I can give them a huge advantage over everybody else at the table that hasn't seen that the ace of diamonds, you know, is underneath there. And if they were to start dealing now, this person knows that okay, ace of diamonds is out of play. So if I get an ace in the pocket, probably not going to get, you know, my odds have reduced quite a bit, but I'm not going to get another ace. Um, so anyway, it gives people an unfair advantage. Also, when you do the bridge shuffle like that, you're also to the point where you're bending the cards this way and you're bending the cards that way. And these are plastic cards, so they don't get bent as easily. But if you do have paper cards like bicycles or bees or whatever, that's really going to tear the deck up over time. Also, using the plastic cards like this, like Copags or Kims, like the casino shoes, it's much harder to you know bend a corner or to mark it with your thumbnail or you know, other ways of marking cards that people like to use in, uh, sometimes when they're cheating in a game. So um, a couple reasons why you would use a more professional deck at, at your game if you're playing for you know, any kind of decent stakes. Now, the way to do the professional deal is that you want to leave the deck on the table at all times. Uh, a lot of people, when they are doing the shuffle again, they're flashing cards or everything else that people are getting a fair advantage. So you basically just take this and you just put the bottom off in one pile and then take the top off in another pile. You're going to just shuffle the corners together and then slide these together. And you're going to do that twice. So you're just going to rip it open like that, do that. Then you're going to do an in-place cut where you're just taking the cards off the top with these two fingers and dropping the rest of them back on the top. Then one more shuffle and that card, that deck of cards is mixed as good as you need to mix it. Put your cut card down there, and again, this is just a plastic little cut card. You can get lots of different types of cut cards. Sit this on top of there, and now you have the cut card on the bottom, so people can't see the bottom card. Because another thing that happens a lot when people are dealing a regular poker game is they're they're dealing and they're you know dealing like this, and you know they're showing the bottom of the card or whatever, and so somebody else again is seeing the card on the bottom, and they know that card's not in play, so it gives them advantage over everybody else. So cut cards are great for that because you can you know, move your hand however you want to while you're dealing. Nobody's going to see that bottom card. The other thing to keep in mind when you're actually doing the dealing is that you're not you know, holding the deck way up here and, and, and shooting the cards off this way because then of course people are going to see the cards and again, unfair advantage. So you want to keep things nice and low. Most dealers are going to pitch a card just by sliding it off this way, grabbing it with their fingers and then doing a pitch like that. Um, one of the ways that I used to deal as well is I would do a finger flip where I would just use my middle finger in this kind of a motion to flip the cards out and then you can get pretty accurate with that. Uh, you can practice that as well. So anyway, just wanted to uh, show you that deal or shuffle. Uh, again, I'll do it one more time real quick, but it's just going to be two corner to corner shuffles just like that. And then you're going to do the cut and then you're going to do one more shuffle. Put it on top of your cut card, start dealing. Nobody's seen any cards. You got a completely fair game, and that's the best way to do it. And it also speeds up the game tremendously because people aren't, you know, trying to do the bridge shuffle and cards are flying everywhere else and whatever else. Um, and this makes it a lot easier to shuffle when you've been drinking as well. So, again, that's how you do it. And uh, if you guys got any questions, just post on this video and let me know. Thanks.